Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft video. Today we are finally back here with the medieval brewery forward slash restaurant. I know a few of you guys have been asking me for the interior video in the comments section. So here it is. This is part two. We're going to finally get this build over and done with. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I would much appreciate it. And without further ado, let's begin. Right guys, so here we are back on the super flat world just as we left off in part one. We're going to continue of course with the interior and we're going to start off with something extremely simple. We're just going to remove all of the grass blocks from the ground level and replace them with oak wood planks. And don't forget to obviously place the door back in its place. So once you've done that, we're going to grab some oak wood and place some extra oak beams, basically constructing the inside frame as if it was, you know, holding up the building. Um, this is two beams. Basically what we're doing is just covering up this edge, which isn't as nice. Um, up here, we're going to continue this beam up into the ceiling. And we're also going to place a beam straight across here, filling up this empty space. And we're also going to place an extra two beams, just as we did on the first floor, right across here. And there will also be one last oak beam. So make your way back down to the first floor where I'm going to show you how to build the staircase up to the second floor. To do this you're going to grab some stone brick stairs and as from this window count two blocks ahead and place a block of stone brick stairs right in the center and just create your staircase quite straightforward standard staircase by placing some upside down stairs and some normal stairs on top and that is your staircase. So quite straightforward, you should be able to copy this just by looking at it. Just make sure you have two blocks over here um, because this is where the table is going to be. Um, that is pretty much everything for the interior structure of this build. I'm going to go ahead now and show you how to do some of the interior decoration. Now this does have quite a unique system using some sticky piston. So just to give you an example, I'm going to construct a dining area over by this window. I'm going to remove this oak wood slab, place a redstone torch right on top of this spruce wood block, grab your sticky piston and place it facing upwards and there you have your table. Grab some oak wood stairs and place it on each side and there you have a nice dining area. Now obviously if you do want this texture pack you can download it from the link in the description. Now I'm going to show you how to fit in an extra three more dining tables um, I'm not actually going to be using redstone torch, we're going to make our way down to the basement and I'm going to show you how to actually fit in some redstone full blocks which do look quite nice. Um, we're going to place an extra dining table over here and an extra one right by this window like so and this will give you enough space to walk by. We've got one side by side here 
one over by the entrance and one by that window. We're also going to fill up this space with a counter area. We're going to place two blocks of brick slab and then a full block right on the edge. You can add a pressure plate. Um, you can also add a flower pot. Um, let's just grab some flowers here and just to give it some extra decoration. So let's make our way down to the basement and I'm going to show you how to construct um, the interior of the basement and lift up these pistons. So make your way into the basement and we're going to start with the entrance. We're going to grab some hay blocks and place one, two, three and four. And basically the first piston is the only piston which is going to be lit up using a redstone torch simply because it looks quite nice as you walk in. You're also going to notice this shadow block which is a bit of a glitch. You can just fix that up by placing two oak wood slabs to fill this in. Um, the rest of these sticky pistons are going to be activated using some redstone full blocks. So just place them as follows and just to make it look less awkward place your full blocks of brick right underneath to give it some support and I also added a trap door right in the center here just to make it look that extra bit more attractive. Now another important feature of the basement are the beer kegs. Now I'm not too sure if that's what it's called but you know what I mean those big barrels which contain beer. To construct this we're going to be using some oak wood stairs. We're going to place them upside down side by side to create the bottom of the barrel and then place stair blocks on top and as you can see that can represent a pretty decent barrel of beer. Now as for the rest of the interior, I mean this is totally up to you but I'm going to show you what I did. Um, you know, quite straightforward, we've got a torch, flower pot, some storage. I also recreated the barrel over here. Um, you know, we've got an anvil but I mean you've got to use your own initiative, it kind of depends what you prefer. If you want to have a crafting table, an anvil, if you want to place a furnace, totally up to you but the, the main stuff such as the sticky pistons, um, the barrel um, is pretty much complete. Now the same goes for the restaurant area, you have to use your own initiative, um, don't forget the entrance, you can add a flower pot, a storage chest, but um, as I was saying, you know, use your initiative, add some carpet, you know, add some paintings, some torches, and that is pretty much all you need to do to finish off the interior for this floor. Now if you make your way up to the second floor, this is where the kitchen area is going to be. So first off, grab some full blocks of brick. And we're going to fill up these one block gaps just like that. So one, two and three. And that should be pretty much it. Then grab some spruce wood slab, place two blocks, one and two. Place a full block on the edge. This is your counter area. Grab some fence to add some extra support. And you can also add one, two and three over here. And this is just making everything look a lot more enclosed. So this is pretty much what you can do with the interior of the kitchen area. Um, as you can see, we've got a full block of glowstone to light up the entire room. We've got some carpet along the floor, um, some yellow carpet. Um, this, of course, is your cooking area. Um, you know, chop up the vegetables, um, cook up the meat. You know what I mean. Um, over here, we've got a nice enclosed area with some fence, um, storage again. And that is pretty much it. Um, of course, don't forget, you can use your initiative, mix and match. Add some paintings, add some torches, some flower pots, and that is pretty much it. Right guys, so just as I thought, this video has not taken too long. Um, quite straightforward, and now you can add this to your towns and cities. Finished. Completely. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and just to let you know that I have been working on a new custom map. Nothing too massive, nothing too extreme, just something pretty simple, which I will be putting up for download shortly. So stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, thank you for watching once again. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. This is Gerocraft over and out.